All right guys, so this is a seven image panoramic stitch that I'm gonna run through as a speed edit. And this image is part of my digital panoramic photography course that I'll leave a link down in the description for you. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So running from left to right, this is the raw files basically just exported out. I probably could have shot this as a bracketed panoramic stitch, but I did shoot it with a two stop neutral density filter and the final result comes out really well. And this is what it looks like just as it's basically finished and it's been stitched. Okay, so the files start off as basically camera raw files, go through, synchronize the settings, clean it up, go through, remove your chromic aberration and set your lens profile corrections, come through and set your white balance. So basically all your white balance is perfect through the whole shot. You're not gonna get any sort of white balance shift. Then I find an image that best represents the shadows on the highlights and go through and just basically do your fundamental editing here, playing around with highlights, shadows. Now come in, I'm gonna save them as a TIFF file as I'm gonna run them through my third party stitching program, PD GUI. Load the files in, then hit a line and align them all up. Remove any sort of negative space up the top. And as I export them out, I basically want to now export them out as a TIFF file with individual layers because I can see I've got some water breaks in there. So I want to fix them with actual real images, not just go through and trying to do cloning out. I'm actually going to use the real captured data to fix up those sort of problems. So I open it up and I basically come through now and I find an image that best represents that. You want to find a shot that doesn't have too much color shifting through it. So I could have used a couple of images here, but this was the best one. So you just hide it by using a black mask and then come through with a soft brush and then you just want to paint it out. And you really are just looking for a nice blend here. It will take a bit of trial and error, toggling between using your white and black paint brush and just find what works the best. So once you've done that, you come through and you basically want to find any other sort of errors in your image. So I've got the middle area here, which has another little issue. Come through, find the image that best represents it. Toggle it on and off to see if you've got too much shifting through the shot, because when you paint through, you don't want to actually ghost any sort of edges. And again, it's just the same process as before. Come through and just have a bit of a play around with that mask. Next is to be crop the file. So I'm going to grab my crop tool, set the ratio to three to one. And I'm not really worried about having some transparent edges here because they're going to really be easy to fix, especially when it's just a little bit of sky and some basically sort of sand in the corners there it's nothing really complicated and i can come through and recrop part of the photo as well if i feel like i need to now i'm going to come in and do my tonal range contrast color so i'm going to select a darks mask and then apply that to the image lift it up quite a bit because i don't mind if i decontrast the image slightly because my contrast portion of the edit will reintroduce that in there So now I'm going to come through and I use the Nick Color Effects Pro Contrast Adjustment. And I find a contrast balance that I really like. I don't mind if I start to push some highlights a little bit far than what I'd really like. Because I'm going to come in, I'm going to select a brightness luminosity mask. So I can offer some protection to those sort of areas. So once you've got your mask, you want to basically invert it. So white will reveal, black will conceal. You want the black to hide that now. So when you invert that, it comes up like this. Now I'm gonna grab into the mask and I'm just gonna look at it and basically use a levels adjustment. The levels adjustment is just gonna darken up those sort of portions a little bit more to give me a little bit better of a selection. But when you do the selection, it does come up a little bit crunchy. So what I do is I use a Gaussian blur to actually blur the mask. And it just sort of gives a much smoother sort of transition through the shot. So now I'm just gonna come through and I'm just gonna clean up these corners. Just make sure that you don't really overly duplicate certain parts of the shot so it looks like you actually have duplicated it. And then just come through and just clean up any sort of areas that are a bit, are a bit distracting. I could have easily removed some of that seaweed there and I could easily go back later on and remove those sort of parts of the shot if I feel like I really need to. So next I'm gonna grab a saturation layer and basically a saturation of vibrancy and add a bit of vibrancy to the shot. But in doing that, I really sort of redden up the sand there. So I'm gonna come in and do a color balance to that as well. Just to remove that, basically targeting the mid-tones and the shadow areas here. Depending on your image, you might wanna play around with your highlights as well. 
And you're just going to be looking for just removing that sort of unattractive colour cast to your shot. Now it's just a case of going through, grabbing different sort of adjustment layers, selective colour, and just trying to do some sort of balancing. Now come in, I've got a curve adjustment, and I'm just going to brighten it up and then just paint in some contrast brightness through the shot selectively. So with selective colour, I really like just grabbing the black sliders and yanking them left and right, just to sort of see what part of the image it does affect. And it's a really good way just to sort of see what part of your photo it's going to affect and then you can go in and just make some selective sort of adjustments there. Now I'm just sort of fine tuning things up here, going through, as a final stage I do a local area contrast adjustment with the image and basically it's pretty much, pretty much done. So I'm really happy with the final result given the fact that I'm shooting directly into the sun using a two-stop neutral density filter and doing a panoramic stitch where I said I could have bracketed it and I would have given it probably a bit of a better tonal range for the shot. But overall looks really good. Got nice sort of detail in the shadows and the highlights and nice colors all the way through. If you want to see a tutorial where I go through something exactly like this, but in real time, I'll leave a link to that right here for you guys to watch. And always guys, if you like this kind of format, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.